Hey everyone! Today, we've got a major update on NEO 1 that could fundamentally reshape their future. It's about chips. No, not the snack, but the core component powering autonomous driving in EVS. This new development signals a serious shift in strategy for NEO and could mean massive savings and greater control over their tech stack moving forward. If you're following NEO as an investor, enthusiast, or someone just curious about the future of EVS, this is something you'll want to understand in depth. Let's break it all down. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Let's start with a bit of context. Throughout 2024, NEO allocated approximately $300 million just to procure autonomous driving chips from NVIDIA. These were the Orin chips, a staple in their lineup at the time. For every vehicle they sold just over 221k units last year those chips played a critical role in powering NEO's smart driving features. Spending $300 million on chips alone for one year is no small figure. And here's where it gets interesting. Imagine if NEO were to double its vehicle deliveries in 2025, which is part of their goal. That same chip expense would balloon to nearly $600 million, assuming they kept sourcing from Nvidia. But here's the twist. NEO isn't going to let that happen. In a strategic move, they've started to design and produce their own autonomous driving chips. Just recently, NEO established a brand new subsidiary focused entirely on chip development and sales. The company was reportedly launched with an initial capital injection of around $1.39 million, and NEO is now actively looking for strategic investors to participate in this venture. While NEO hasn't officially commented in detail, multiple credible sources confirm that the new unit was registered just yesterday under the name Anhui Shanghai Technology. This is no small pivot. It's part of a larger vision. This new chip-focused division will not only manufacture chips for NEO's own vehicles, but could eventually become a revenue-generating business in its own right. This initiative lines up perfectly with NEO's broader efforts to tighten cost controls, increase vertical integration, and enhance gross margins. Now, let's talk about the product side of things. In early 2025, NEO rolled out the ET9, their flagship model, which became the first vehicle to use their in-house autonomous driving chip. That was the start of a broader transition. Since March, all newly released 2025 models including the ES6, EC6, ET5 Touring, and ET5 Mid-Sedan have started using NEO's Shinji NX9031 chip. Here's a huge upside. Switching to their own chips saves NEO around $1,390 per vehicle. Multiply that across thousands or eventually hundreds of thousands of cars, and you're talking about tens or even hundreds of millions in cost reductions. For example, had they continued buying from NVIDIA at the same rate and scaled up sales, they could have easily spent upwards of half a billion dollars this year. But by shifting to their own chips, they're preserving capital that can instead be reinvested in R&D, battery tech, or global expansion. Now, while their premium NEO models are already on board with in-house chips, their newly launched sub-brand Envo, which focuses on family-oriented EVS, still relies on NVIDIA chips for now. But that's likely temporary. There's already talk that NEO plans to extend its chip production to supply the Envo brand as well. From a business strategy standpoint, this move makes a ton of sense. By building their own chips, NEO gains more technical independence, reduces reliance on foreign suppliers, and enhances their ability to optimize chip architecture specifically for their vehicle software and driving systems. More importantly, from a financial angle, this shift could have a transformative effect on NEO's bottom line. Cutting out a major expense like NVIDIA chips can significantly improve gross margins, which has been a consistent concern among analysts and shareholders alike. It's no surprise that investment firms are taking notice. For example, Goldman Sachs, which previously had a bearish outlook on NEO, recently upgraded their stance from sell to neutral. The change reflects growing optimism around NEO's cost management self-sufficiency in chip technology, and the potential for returning to profitability. 
This isn't just about trimming expenses, it's also a long-term play on innovation. NEO now has the freedom to experiment, iterate, and evolve its chips to meet future demands, especially as AI-powered autonomous driving features become even more complex and integral to the EV experience. Back to the new subsidiary Anhui Shanghai technology, it appears this will be NEO's dedicated arm for all things related to chip design, development, and commercialization. Although NEO hasn't yet released an official statement about this subsidiary, the registration and capital structure are already public, and the intent is clear. Reports suggest that NEO may eventually invite external investors into the subsidiary likely offering a minority stake while retaining control. This opens the door for partnerships with semiconductor firms, technology innovators, or even sovereign wealth funds interested in the EV and chip sector. So, what does this mean going forward? In simple terms, NEO is no longer content being just an EV company. They're positioning themselves as a vertically integrated technology enterprise, one that designs its own chips, software, and vehicles. That kind of synergy not only improves product quality, but also builds defensibility against market disruptions. And with China pushing hard for domestic tech independence, NEO's move couldn't have come at a better time. The company is aligning itself with national goals while also protecting its own future from global supply chain uncertainties and geopolitical risks. So, to wrap it all up, NEO spent $300 million last year on NVIDIA chips. This year, they're cutting that number drastically by shifting to internally developed autonomous driving chips. They've even set up a dedicated subsidiary Anhui Shanghai Technology to lead the charge in chip development and sales. With new models like the ET9 and others already benefiting from these in-house chips, the company is saving thousands of dollars per car, laying the foundation for greater profitability, operational efficiency, and technological independence. This is a bold move, but a smart one. And if NEO can scale this chip business the way they plan to, we could be looking at a company that's not just building cars, but shaping the future of intelligent mobility from the ground up. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more in-depth EV news and updates. Let me know in the comments do you think NEO's chip strategy will give them a long-term edge over competitors like Tesla or Xpeng. Until next time, take care and stay curious. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.